In this tutorial, I'd like to review the color adjustments inside of HDR Expose 3 and 32 Float version 3. In our other tutorials, we've talked a lot about the Beyond RGB color space and how it separates brightness from color. The tone mapping operations are all done on the brightness channel. In the color panel, all of the color changes are done only on the color channel. So let's take a look at how this works. I'm going to just close up some panels here in order to provide more space on the screen to work with. There are three basic tools in the color settings panel. The white balance, saturation, and color tuning. Let's start with white balance. The easiest way to select the white balance is to take the eyedropper and just click on a white, an object in the image that you want to be neutral white. You can also modify the white balance using the warmth and tint sliders. If you want to warm the image up, move this more to the right, cool it down, move it to the left. Another option to control white balance is using the 2D white balance setting. If I open the disclosed triangle here, you'll see my white balance dialog. I have my green red axis here and my blue yellow axis here. The square in the center signifies the default white balance of the image. The X is where I've adjusted it to. I can move this X around this space, adjusting both the warmth and the tint at the same time in order to get the preferred white balance that I want for the scene. I'll leave it at that. The next tool is saturation. You can adjust the master saturation to increase all the saturation of the image or decrease it, or even turn this into a black and white image by removing all the color from it. If I want to work on a single channel, I can open the disclose triangle and just change the saturation of a single color channel, for example the reds or the blues. Let's reset these back to the default settings. And then we'll go on to our third tool. This is called color tuning. This is a very powerful tool that allows you to make selective color adjustments to your images. I'm going to start by selecting my eyedropper tool. And I'll click here on the fender of this red truck. Now you'll see a slice of our color space. This light gray oval here shows you the range of colors that you can adjust this red to without changing the overall white balance of the image. So I can change both the hue of, of the color as well as its saturation. Let's leave the red at this. I can also adjust the brightness of the color by using the exposure slider here. I just want to darken it up a little bit. I can apply up to three different color changes on any image. I'll click on the plus key to open up another tool. If I want to make an adjustment to the sky color, I'll select my eyedropper again, click on the sky. Now I want to remove some of the magenta from the sky. I'm going to shift this away from the magenta side and make that change. Here on the color patch you can see the before and after view. And that's how selective color tuning works. Let's look at the before and after versions of this image. This is my final product, and this is what we started with. Again, before and after. And those are your color correction tools inside of HDR Expose 3 and 32 Float version 3. Thanks for watching.